let's get started right away. We're going to go over a new story today about, well, I won't spoil it, but a new story. Before we do that, let's go over our homework from last week. So in case you need that again, I'll put the homework from last week in the chat. And so we left off on the true or false questions on the second page, practice two. So we did number one, and you were supposed to complete numbers two, three, and four. So that's what we're gonna go over today. And then I'm really excited to see what you guys did for the next page with our different characters and how you'll help them in the library. So let's start with practice two. Um, Stella, could you start with number two? Please read the sentence for us. Library books are usually organized by color. Very, oh, very good, false. So what would be the true sentence? I maybe by the author. Very good. Would you be able to say that in a complete sentence? Library books are usually organized by author. Very good. So we learned that in our story, they can be organized by the author's name. So alphabetical order, or they're placed into different categories. So usually not by color. So very good, great answer. Number three, um, Barry, can you please read the sentence for number three? Using the library's best can make it harder to find a specific book. False. False. Very good. What would be the correct sentence? Using the library database can make it easier to find a specific book. Very good. It makes it easier. And we also learned that it can help speed up your search for the book. Excellent. Number four. Right, can you please read the sentence for number four? You can be charge of three, four, two. Very good, true. So if you have overdue books, you turn them in late, they might charge you a fee. You'll have to pay for it. Excellent, very good work there, guys. So for practice three, you have three characters, Sophia, Mario, and Matthew. And each of them have a different problem. And your job was to help them with their problem. So Sylvia, are you able to use your mic today? Is it working? Yes. Awesome. So, Sylvia, can you please read um, the sentence under Sophia? Sophia is looking for a spe specific book to read, but she doesn't know how to find it. What would you say to Sophia? Very good. So, what would you say to Sophia? How would you help her? You can ask her the librarian. Very good, you can ask the librarian. Great answer. What about Mario? Ruru, would you be able to read about Mario? Yes. Mario wants to take a book home with him, but he doesn't know how to check it out. What word? You said to Mario. Very good. So, <laughs> Mario. Mario. 
Excellent. So what would you say to Mario? How would you help him? Bring it to the library uh, library to scan scan to books and your library card into the computer. Very good. So he needs to bring it to the librarian. She'll scan it and his card. Great job. So look, let's look at our last one. Matthew. Right. Can you please read about Matthew? Man's library books are due tomorrow, but he doesn't want to turn them in. What would you say to Messi? Very good. So what would you say to Matthew, right? Uh, we slavery borrow again. <laughs> that he shouldn't borrow it again? Yeah. Why not? Or what could happen if Matthew doesn't turn in his library book? If Matthew doesn't turn in his books and they're overdue, what could happen? Uh, pay money. Very good. Or a fee. Remember that word? A fee. Yeah, pay so a fee. Brian. Very good fee. So fee, the fee would be that money that he has to pay. So very good. If Matthew, he has his library books, but he doesn't want to turn them in, you could help him out by saying, if you don't turn them in, you might be charged a fee or you'll have to pay a fee or like you said, money. So very good. And Bright, Stella, um, we don't have time for you to share your answers, but I'm sure they were really good as well. So thank you guys for your hard work and doing the homework. Um, do you have any questions about the homework from last week? Nope. Okay. So let's move on to get us started on our new story. We're going to take a look at a picture. So I'm going to share my screen. Let's take a look at this picture. So let's look at it for a bit. I'll give you a few seconds. To see what's going on here. So I'd like to ask Stella. Stella, what do you see in this picture? A lot of things. Very good. There's a lot of things, a lot of things in this picture. What are some things that you see? Um, cookies. Very good, cookies. So we see food over here. We see two people. So we're going to learn more about the vocabulary words to describe what we see here. Very good. So to get started, I will now share the slides for our vocab words. Give me one second. Okay, so the title of our story for this week is Grocery Shopping. So let's find out what that means to help us out with our story. So as usual, repeat after me and we'll learn what these new words are. So our first one, grocery store. 
Very good. So we see we have two words here, grocery and store. We might know what a store is. Barry, what is a store? Mm, a place you can buy something. Very good. So it's a place you go to shop to buy things. So what is a grocery store? So what does this word grocery mean? If we look at this part over here of this slide, we see that groceries are the food that you buy at a store. So these are groceries. We always use it in the plural form. So with an S, unless if we're just talking about a grocery store. So if you are saying that you bought groceries, you say groceries, not grocery. So again, groceries are the food that you buy in a store. So that means a grocery store is a store that mainly sells food. So that's the main thing you can buy at that store. Let's look at our example sentence. My dad asked me to buy some fruit from the grocery store. My dad asked me to buy some fruit from the grocery store. Very good. So again, we see our, our word grocery store, and again, a store that mainly sells food. Next, shopping cart. Shopping cart. And let's look right at our example sentence. My shopping cart was filled with groceries. My shopping cart was filled with groceries. Very good. So you may know this um, term already, but a shopping cart is like a large container. There's wheels on the bottom and you push it around the store and you put the things you want to buy into the shopping cart. Some people may use a shopping basket. So a shopping basket is a lot smaller. You can carry it in your hands. So if you're only buying a few things, you may choose to use a shopping basket instead of a cart. So, Sylvia, do you ever go shopping at a grocery store? Yes. Okay, so when you're at the store, do you usually use a shopping cart or a shopping basket? Mm, I usually use shopping basket. Okay, awesome, a basket. What about you, um, Ruru? When you go to the store, do you usually use a shopping cart or a shopping basket? Shopping basket. Can you please answer in a complete sentence? I usually, I usually use shopping basket. Very good. So you're like Sylvia, you both use the shopping basket. When I go to the grocery store, I usually use a shopping cart. Unless if I'm only buying a few things, then I use a basket. Okay, so very good. Let's look at our next slide. Rather than. Rather than. Rather than. So this is a phrase that means instead of or in place of. So let's look at our example. Joseph decided to play video games rather than do his homework. Joseph, Joseph decided to play decided video, to play games, video games rather than do his homework. His homework. 
Very good. So again, this phrase means the same as instead or in place of. So Joseph decided to play video games instead of or rather than doing his homework. So this means the same as instead of or in place of. You can always use the phrase rather than. Next word, aisle. Aisle. Very good. Now, this is a tricky word because there's an S in the middle of this word, but it's silent. You don't say the S. So, again, just aisle. And you guys said it perfectly. So, an aisle, when we're speaking about at the store, it's the walkway between the shelves. So we learned the word shelves in our last story. So we see the shelves with the drinks on them. And this space right here is the aisle where you walk. So let's read our example. The worker said that drinks are on aisle four. Very good. So again, we see this in our picture. On this aisle, we see the drinks. So again, it's the walkway between the shelves. Neatly. 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 Um, if neatly, neatly means it's done in a clean or organized way. So let's look at our examples. Our first one, my bedroom is always neatly organized. My bedroom my is bedroom always is neatly is organized. Neatly organized. They were neatly dressed for their first day of school. They were neatly dressed for their first day of school. Very good. So if we're looking at our first sentence and our first picture, your bedroom is always neatly organized. So that means it's clean. Everything is put in its place. It looks great, clean, and neat. Um, you can also use the word neatly to talk about maybe your clothes. So we see these kids, they're neatly dressed for their first day of school. So their clothes are clean, they're nice, they are neatly dressed. Are there any questions about the word neatly? Okay, so let's move on to our next word. Item. Item. Item is another word for a thing or object. So let's look at our examples. How many items did you buy at the store today? How many items He placed the item in his shopping cart and continued down the aisle. Down the aisle. Very good. So again, this word is pretty simple. It item can be used to describe things. So in this sentence, this person could have asked, how many things did you buy at the store today? But we use the word items. So it means the same thing. And same with the second sentence as well. Okay, next we have a phrase, bargain hunter. 
Dragon Hunter. Dragon Hunter. Hunter. So, Bargain Hunter, we see this isn't one word, it's two different words. So, to understand what this means, let's look at the meaning of these two words separately. So, first we have the word bargain. So, go ahead and repeat again. Bargain. Bargain. Very good. So, if something is a bargain, that means it's sold for less than the usual price. So, it's a good deal. It might be on sale, and you don't have to pay a lot of money for it if it's a bargain. Now, let's look at this word and repeat after me. Hunter. 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 So hunter can mean different things, but in this case, a hunter is someone who searches for something. They search for it. So if we put those two words together, a bargain hunter is a person who looks for things to buy that are cheaper than they usually are. So again, these items might be on sale, like we see in these pictures. So you don't have to pay as much money for them. So let's look at our example. My mom is known as a bargain hunter. She only buys things that are on sale. My mom is Very good. So, Ryan, I see you're here. Hello. Do you know anybody who is a bargain hunter? Mom. Your mom? Yes. So when your mom goes shopping, when she goes to the store, what does she look for? Uh, she bought something. Can you say that a little louder, please? She bought she food. Okay. Very good. So she looks for the cheaper things or items. So I'm sure that's a lot of us. I know that's me. When I go to a store, I look for the sales. If something is cheaper, um, then I'll probably buy it. A bargain hunter. So very good. Are there any questions about um, this phrase? Okay. Uh, moving on then, so this word, it's similar or connected to bargain hunter. So repeat after me, thriftiness. 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 So thriftiness is the quality of being careful with money. So let's look at our example to see what that means. Because of my thriftiness when it comes to shopping, I have been able to save a lot of money. Because of because my thriftiness when it comes to shopping, I have been able to save a lot of money. Very good. So again, someone who has this quality of thriftiness is careful with their money. They don't spend it all at once or spend it on a lot of expensive things. They save their money. So we see in this picture, the person is putting money into their piggy bank. They're saving their money. So someone who is a bargain hunter, maybe they have the quality of thriftiness. They're careful with their money. Next, expensive. 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 
So if something is expensive, it costs a lot of money. And this word isn't in our story for today, but I thought it would be good to go over it because it connects with the story. So let's look at our examples. I wanted to buy the new video game, but my mom said it was too expensive. I want to I buy want the to new buy video game, but my mom said it was too expensive. My classmate Kim has a lot of expensive clothes. My classmate Kim has a lot of expensive clothes. Very good. So again, expensive, it means it costs a lot of money. So maybe you want to buy a new video game, but your mom says, no, it's too expensive. It costs too much. To allow. To allow. To allow is to make it possible for something to be done or to happen. So let's look at our examples. I'm glad that my teacher always allows enough time for us to finish our homework. I'm glad that my teacher, that teacher always allowed us, allows us, allows us to finish our homework. Finish our homework. Don't forget to allow enough room in your bag for your school supplies. Don't forget to Don't allow forget enough to room allow in your bag for your school supplies. Very good. So this word is a little tricky to explain, but if we look back at our definition, it can help us out. So if you have a teacher that allows enough time for you to finish your homework, they make it possible for that to happen, for you to finish your homework. Or in this example, you want to allow enough room in your bag for your school supplies. So you want to make it possible for that to happen, for you to have enough room in your bag. Before we go to our sentences, on the next slide, are there any questions about the word allow? Okay, so I believe that was our last one. Yep. So now we come to the point in class where you guys get to use the words that we just learned. So as usual, choose one or more of these words or phrases and put together your own complete sentences. When you're done, go ahead and type them in the chat and we'll be able to see what you guys came up with. And if you have any questions, as usual, please ask me and I look forward to hearing what you guys did.
And these words are really useful to know if you ever decide to travel to an English speaking country um, like the United States or Canada or Australia or South Africa. Um, because if you decide to go shopping, you'll know the really important words to know to go shopping. So these are really helpful words to know. So I see you guys are, some of you have finished up your sentences. I see three. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really liking these sentences. These are great. And I think that's all of you. So I'll stop sharing my screen so that we can hear these sentences. Okay. So let's start with Bright. Can you please share your sentence? My mom bought a expensive bag, but the bag is very ugly. <laughs> as soon as I read that, it made me want to laugh. <laughs> that was a very good sentence. It's sort of funny. Did that really happen or no? That's <laughs> Right. 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 <laughs> okay, it's not true. <laughs> okay. okay, well, it was a very good sentence. Um, so you use the word expensive. And I like how you use the word ugly because that's a very good adjective, very descriptive. So great job on your sentence, right? Let's hear from Ryan next. Can you please share your sentence? My mom is Falcon Hunter. She usually buys cheaper food or things. Very good. So you use the phrase bargain hunter. So very good. Thank you so much, Ryan. Let's move on to, you're welcome. Let's move on to Sylvia. Can you please share your sentence? My mom always buys a broken item rather than an expensive item. Very good. My mom does the same thing. She buys the bargain items. Great job. You guys did a really good job with, with these words. Ruru, why don't we do you next? Can you share your sentence? I usually use shop, shop basket on store. Very good. So you use shopping basket. One thing I'll say, Ruru, to make your sentence sound even better, you would say, I usually use a shopping basket at the store. At the store. Yeah. Do you want to say it again? I usually use shopping, shopping basket at store. At the store. At store. Very good. So thank you for that. Barry, can you please share your sentence? In a grocery store, if you want to buy a lot of items, you will use shopping cart rather than shopping basket to put the groceries in it. Very good, Barry. Thank you for using a lot of the vocab words. Excellent job. And that was a great sentence. Great work. And so our last one, Stella, can you share your sentence? My mom goes to 
the grocery store to buy some groceries once a week. Very good. That sentence is perfect. Great job. You guys did such a good job with these words. That's awesome. Great job. So now let's see these words in action. Let's read our story. So if you guys can all have this ready to go on your device, on your computer or tablet. And once we get there, Bright, can I please have you read the title of our story? Grocery shopping. Very good. Grocery shopping. Okay, so I'll read the first paragraph. Please follow along and then you guys will be able to practice as well. So let's begin. On her way home from school, Jenny decided she needed to stop at the local grocery store. As she entered, she looked around and found a shopping basket. She placed the basket on a cart to make a mini shopping cart. It was easier for her to push the cart rather than carry the basket. The aisles were organized neatly and Jenny pushed the cart down each one to find what she needed. Each item she wanted, she took off the shelf and placed in the shopping cart. Jenny, being a bargain hunter, preferred the items that were on sale. Her thriftiness allows her to save a lot of money whenever she shops. So we see that in our picture. So that was a picture we looked at at the beginning of class. So we see Jenny shopping at the store. So now let's read it again. And this time I'll read a sentence and you'll repeat after me. On her way home from school, Jenny decided she needed to stop at the local grocery store. On her way home, Jenny decided she needed to stop at the local grocery store. As she entered, she looked around and found a shopping basket. As she entered, she looked around and found a shopping basket. She placed the basket on a cart to make a mini shopping cart. It was easier for her to push the cart rather than carry the basket. It was easier for her to push the cart rather than carry the basket. The aisles were organized neatly, and Jenny pushed the cart down each one to find what she needed. The aisles were organized neatly, and Jenny pushed the cart down each one to find what she needed. Each item she wanted, she took off the shelf and placed in the shopping cart. Each item she wants, she took off the shelf and placed in the shopping cart. Jenny, being a bargain hunter, preferred the items that were on sale. Her thriftiness allows her to save a lot of money whenever she shops. Her thriftiness allows her to save a lot of money whenever she shops. Great job. So we just went over the first paragraph in the story. 
Now let's talk about it to make sure we understand what's going on here. So my first question, um, Ruru, what is the name of the girl in this story? And can you please answer in a complete sentence? What is her name? Shiyan is Jenny. Very good, Jenny. Can you say it in a complete sentence? Her, her name is Jenny. Very her, good. Her name is called Jenny. You, you are right. With the first name. Jenny. Her name is Jenny. Her name is Jenny. Very good. Yeah, you were right the first time. Good job. So very good. Her name is Jenny. So Stella, where was Jenny going when she decided to stop and buy groceries? She decided to stop at the local grocery store. Very good. So on her way home from school, right? She was coming home from school. She decided to go to the grocery store. Now, Sylvia, why does Jenny prefer items that are on sale? Because of her thriftiness. Very good. Because of her thriftiness. So we know she's a bargain hunter. She wants what's on sale. Oh, so very good. Are there any questions about the paragraph at all? <laughs> no? Okay. So let's go over our worksheet. So we'll be able to go over, practice more of what we learned today in our worksheet. And in case you didn't get to download it earlier, I'll put it back in the chat. One more time. So first, as usual, we have our pictures and we are supposed to match the pictures with the correct word. So Barry, once you have your worksheet ready, can you please do the first one? First one is shopping cart. Very good, shopping cart. And what about number two? Ryan, can you please do number two? And take your time. I'll wait for you to pull it up. Number two is L. Can you say that one more time? I, I can't hear you very well. Number two is L. So if we're, let me make sure I have the right one again. Not like last week. Okay, so if we're looking at number two, so if we look at number two, we see the picture of a bedroom. The bedroom is organized and clean. So what's a word that means it's organized and clean? Nearly. Very good, neatly. So can you repeat after me, Ryan? Neatly. Neatly. Very good. I know the pictures might be a little confusing on that one. But yeah, neatly. So it's clean, organized. The kids on their first day of school, remember, they are dressed neatly. They're clean. They're ready for school. Okay, very good. Let's move on to number three. Stella, number three. Can you say that one more time, Stella? Bargain hunter. Very good, bargain hunter. So we see the woman in the picture is shopping. We see the sign. Um, so this was on our slide with bargain hunter. So again, looking for what's on sale. 
Number four, um, Sylvia, number four. Groceries. Very good, groceries. And number five, Ruru. Can you do number five? Aisle. Aisle, excellent. Number six, Bright. Can you do number six? So finished. Thriftiness, very good. And number seven, uh, Ryan, let's go back to you. Number seven. Expensive. Very good, expensive. We see the money there. Excellent. So now we have some true or false questions. So let's go to the next page. And Barry, why don't we start with you? Can you please read our first sentence? On her way home from school, Jenny decided to stop by her favorite clothing store. False. Very good. What would be the correct sentence? On her way home from school, Jenny decided to stop by the lo local store. Very good. And what what kind of store? Uh, grocery store. Very good. A grocery store. So it wasn't a clothing store, a grocery store. Excellent. Number two, Sylvia, can you please read the sentence for us? It was easier for Jenny to push the shopping cart rather than, the, rather than carry a basket. Very good. True. True. Very good. It was easier for her. She wanted to make a little mini shopping cart to push everything around. Okay, number three. Stella, can you please read and tell us if it's true or false? False. Very good. What would be the correct sentence? So you're sort of cutting out, Stella. I can't hear you very well. C can you try again? The elves in the grocery store were not easy. And didn't need to be organized. Very good. They weren't messy. They didn't need to be organized. What word were they? What were the aisles? Oh, oh, you have to get going, right, Stella? You have to leave? Okay. Thank you, Stella. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Okay, um, Sylvia, or we, we did Sylvia. What about Ruru? Ruru, so what would, what other word could we use to describe the aisles? They weren't messy. What were they? How were they organized? Do you need help? No. Okay, so let's see if let's see if someone else can help us. Uh, Barry, what other word could we use? How were the aisles organized? Mm, the aisles are neatly organized. Very good. So neatly. Remember that word? Neatly. So Ruru, do you remember? What does neatly mean? Do you remember? Number. What does neatly mean? So remember we learned, um, let's Let's see if someone else can help us with this one. We want to make sure we know this word. Um, Ryan, 
Do you remember what does neatly mean? Brian? Very good. Clean. Yeah, so if something is neatly organized, Ruru, it's clean and everything's put in the right spot. Yeah, so the aisles at the grocery store were neatly organized. It was clean, everything was in the right spot. Do you have any do you have any questions about that word? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So maybe it would be helpful to look back at this story and look at the second page. The second page has the Mandarin translation, so you can read it in Mandarin, so you can understand it better. Okay? So maybe Luke can help you with that after class. Okay? Okay. <laughs> he can help yeah, sure, you out with sure, that. Sure, sure. Okay. Sure, sure. Neatly. 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 Ruru, oh, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, if you need help or if you don't understand, that's okay. That's what that's what class is for. So good job. Thank you for for trying. So let's move on to number four, our last one. So Bright, can you please read the sentence for number four? Jenny always buy the most expensive items when the when she goes shopping. Very good. Now, is that true or false? False. Very good. What would be the correct sentence? By chip. Chip. Can you say in a complete sentence? Jenny always buy chips at home when she goes shopping. Very good. So she usually buys the cheaper items. So she's a bargain hunter. She looks for the less expensive items. So very good. Great job. So we finished practice one and practice two. For practice three, we have a couple of questions we need to answer. So Sylvia, can you please read um, the paragraph under practice three. Are you a burger hunter when you go shopping? If you don't usually shop, are you a parent, siblings, or friends burger hunters? Do you think it is smart to shop for items they are on sale? Why or why not? Very good. So I know that's a lot of questions, but I'd like for you to answer these for your homework. So first, if you go shopping, are you a bargain hunter? And maybe you don't go shopping, but your mom or your dad or your grandma or your brother, maybe they go shopping. Are they bargain hunters? So I would like for you to write that down for your homework and then share what you think. Do you think it's smart to buy items that are on sale? Is it smart to be a bargain hunter? So for your homework, go ahead and write that down in complete sentences. And then next week, 
you will get to share what you think. So, Barry, could you repeat to me your homework for this week? We need uh, to uh, answer the question. Very good. So, again, practice three. Answer these questions down here. Are there any questions about what you are supposed to do or your homework? Okay, so I look forward to hearing what you think, and next week I will share what I think too about buying items on sale. So great job today, you guys. We have a couple minutes left. So I know I have a you. Question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what does uh, simply mean? Uh, sibling. sibling. Great, great question. So a sibling means a brother or sister. A brother or sister. So when you're talking about your siblings, you're talking about your brother or sister. So it's not, yeah, so your siblings. So I have two siblings. I have two brothers. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Because I don't think they know this word. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. So I'm I sorry. asked for them. <laughs> okay. So let's yeah. Uh, so Barry, do you have any siblings? No, I am an only child. Okay. What about you, Ruru? Do you have any siblings? Sibling, this is Shongdi Jame. Near me, Shongdi Jame. One sister. One older one, sister? One. Older sister? Yes. One okay, older good. sister. Okay. I'm going to type in the chat really quick what siblings means. So that way you guys can look at that. I know that word was on the homework, but I wasn't sure if you knew it or not. So, Ryan, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have um, an older sister. You have an older sister. Awesome. What about you, Bright? Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a three brother. You have a sister or a brother? Brother. A brother. Okay. How many? Do you have one brother? Three brothers. Three? Oh, three brothers. <laughs> wow. Three brothers. I have two brothers. What about you, Sylvia? Before we go, how many siblings do you have? I have one sister. One sister. Awesome. <laughs> well, well, our hour is up, but thank you guys all for coming to class today. You did a great job, so great work. Okay, please unmute your mic. And let's say thank you, teacher Ziana, okay? Thank you. Thank you, teacher Ziana. Thank you all. Next week. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Yes, see you next week. Bye -bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye.